fusion tree um, apparently is the extension uh, together is the whole uh, whole set of the fusions. So we learn the microcosmic, we learn the trussing channels, we learn the belt channels. So we have microcosmic is two channels, trussing one, belt two, one, three. but is trussing channel still divide into different one. Now we come out into a bridge channel and regulator channels, which is four channels together. The bridge channel and the regular channel, they don't have their own channels, but they, they use the other points to form a channels. And they take so they take every single organ point or, or every single meridian inside there to form to their channels. So they call our regulator channels and the bridge channels. Because the bridge enjoy all the all the twelve organ channels together. So they call that. And the regulator and the bridge them, join them, control them together. That's why the this the channel is important. So when you finish all this, you have eight psychic channels. Or we call eight special channels. The eight special channel do so much in our life. Okay. It use so much in our life. The bell channel use the low the most. Yeah. Um, and the trusting channel you're using in the in the balancing yourself, cleaning yourself, healing yourself. And the bell channel you can use it apparently to communicate with the people. Yeah. And uh, that's why a lot of people when in a meeting, if the people sit in a round circle, that's why and uh, if a master if you sit in a round circle, they generate the energy in a bell channel from the heart circuit and connecting with all the people. Suddenly, the people will talk the same thing. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you can spy, spiral your bell channel to the leg and spiral all to the other people, which you're connecting the people together. And the bell channel is so much juices in, in, in your life. You know? and, um, and, um, and using in the protection, using communications, using in uh, all kind of things. And uh, bridge channel will generate a lot of healing itself. Because it's connect connecting to all the organs and the gland and uh, generate a lot of healing. And, um, and it try to balance, balance the energy on both sides. What we're doing here now, you combine two things. You, s you dig a channel. Apart is not digging. You have a channel inside there. And, you try, and we try to teach you to set the energy flow into a proper channels. So anytime when the power comes out so much, it flows out into a channel. So you're not going to overflow, over flood it. That's why the dam is so good. Is that right? Every country in the whole world, they build a dam. And after they build a dam, they have to do the education. So they tell the, the, the farmer, dig a canal into your field. Dig a canal into your land. So when they open the water up, it flow into illicate. And this is the important part. How are you going to let the energy flow? You have to set a pattern. Lucky that we don't have to set it. Because all these things be set pattern for at least six or seven thousand years ago. Okay? And all we have to do is learn it right, do it properly. And it's so precise and so easy. And when you set it, that's all you, you are. The way the churches the temple, uh, a big building, do because they hold certain type of pattern or energy in there, in there. And the way they build a statue, they they take so many people energy. They put the diamond, the jewels, the power, the uh, uh, the magic character, and everything is inside there. And this become a power symbol to attract the people. And because the building built out so beautiful. Uh, and the way that the architecture built, they hold the power, hold the energy. So when the people go there, they give the energy, and the energy hold that. And so, so the people go there, they feel some type of power in there. But when the people don't go there, they don't feel energy. That is the purpose of the church. That is the purpose of the temple. That is the purpose of the building. We want the people to go there. You know? But oftentimes, you're not living there, near there, you cannot do it. As I one time I go to a Tao temple, 
when I go there, I feel energy, and I and because the psychological also, uh, the Tao Master he told me that you come here, you see the eight immortal, the Lao Tzu and Zhuang Tzu and the Yi Wang Da Di. I mean the the uh, we call the God, the, the top one on the, on on the, on the sky, you know, and you just sit there, and depending on your level of energy, if your good level, a higher spirit or higher master or eight immortal come to you and give you energy. And I trust it, and I believe it. I sit there and meditate, and I feel something. Uh, and when I go home, and he, he told me that this, you come to the place, you get energy. And, and when I go home, I don't get energy, because the setting is different. <laughs> the setting is different. If you go to a temple, they, they make a, a setting right. And they said, this, you're going to get this. And you get it, because the, the incense, Mm, the smell, the incense, you know. If one thing stimulates your smell. And the visual, uh, uh, a statue. The, visual, the, the visualization, the visual. So you, you look and you see beautiful statue, beautiful, incredible. Some of the statue hold power. There's the second thing. And the chanting on the gong, gong, and that is the oratory. You, know? you have smell, you have the visual, you have oratory, and you have touch. You see this, you feel this, and the building is like touch. You feel, oh, beautiful. And that, the setting keeps you, and when everything's set right, you get energy. In a Tao system, because the Tao master, they practice in a, in a high mountain, so they cannot depend on that. And they started to get, so they have to find a different way. If you go to a church, go to a temple, go to a, a place, oh, beautiful. And you so concentrate, and you so energy, your energy is so concentrate. But in a Tao Master, again on a mountain and a, and, and a cave, they cannot. So they discover another way, which each every people have a temple within themselves. And you have you can have touch, visions, sight, everything inside yourself. So you're developing a, to a system that you're not depending on the temple, you're not depending on the statue. You're not depending on the incense, you're not in depending on the chanting, you're not depending on the mantras, but inside you. You have everything in there, you have the organs, you can set. So in the towers, you, I always told the people, this is your statue. Now, if you want to worship it, buy uh, this kind of structure, put it right in your altar and, off, and uh, worship it every day. You're going to get much, much than anything out of it. This is your, your, your statue, you know? Go and look at the, all the God. In the Taoism, they say, all the God is there and stored in the organs. So who are you going to worship to? Why don't you worship your lungs? There is a, a God inside there. A real God stay in the lung. The heart have a God. The liver, the spleen, the everyone have one God stay in there. And you don't worship them, who are you going to worship? That's what the... Uh, the Taoism are uh, discovered that way. Now, so you have color, you have sound, you have vision, you have organ, you have everything is in there, the body. And it's connecting and work together. And, uh, and that's why the uh, Taoism is more inside. We, we really get the inside and we try to get something you can touch, you can feel, going to the thing you cannot touch and you cannot feel. So at least you start with something you cannot can touch first. The organ, you at least you know it inside there. You turn inwardly, it's connecting with you. And from there, it's going to manifest the energy. Okay? Fusion 3. In Fusion 3, you will discover and experience the Great Regulator Channel and Great Bridge Channel, which, according to the ancient Chinese medicine classics, act as links to all the separate acupuncture meridians of the body. The Great Regulator Channel binds together all meridians and the Great Bridge Channel regulates energy flow between meridians. During the practice of Fusion 3, you will work with them as one unit. All channels are divided into yin and yang. The yin channels are the spleen, liver, kidney, lung, pericardium surrounding the heart, and heart. The yang channels are the stomach, gallbladder, bladder, large intestine, triple warmer, governing energy production, and small intestine. The amount of energy in the yin and yang channels must be regulated to attain a balance in the body, thus permitting the energy to flow freely. 
the regulator, the great regulator channel. The great regulator channel is divided into yin and yang. The yin aspect moves the yin energy and regulates the blood and inner parts of the body. The yang ac aspect moves the yang energy, controls defensive energy, regulates resistance to external infections, and regulates the external parts of the body. Typically, if the yang aspect of the great regulator channel is out of balance, the person catches colds and fevers quite easily. If the yin aspect of the great regulator channel is out of balance, the person suffers from heart pains. Okay. okay, the great bridge channel. The great bridge channel regulates the amount of energy being used by each meridian. If any meridian utilizes more energy than it requires to flow properly, then other meridians become deficient. The great bridge channel has also a yin and yang aspect. If you look carefully about on the both sides, from the top of the head, down to the forehead and down the eye and that is start from a gallbladder so we start from the gallbladder and from the gallbladder we're coming down to the stomach point from the stomach point we're coming down to the to the functional channel and coming down to the um, to the small um, to, to the stomach again to stomach 13 and come down to the stomach and come down to the liver and we come down to the spleen point and we're coming down from there to the spleen to the gallbladder to the kidney you see that? so in this channel it takes many other organ channels to make on their own channels it's just like a United Nations okay? you take every representative and put it in the United Nations and these people will relate anything back to the country. If the United Nations work well, that's very good. So everyone will recreate and everyone will bridge together. And also that's why recreator and bridge together. <laughs> but unfortunately sometimes they don't recreate and bridge together. So when it go up, you go up into a bladder channel. And you go up to a gallbladder channel. And gallbladder and gallbladder and bladder and the bladder all the way up in the back bladder and we're coming down to the small intestine in the hand area and we're coming down to our last intestine on the arm here and we come down to the tip of warmer and uh, we come up to the uh, when you come up to the palm to the palm here we come up to the pericardium again and um, we come up all the way and go all the way to a special channel to the neck and all the way up to the head. So it penetrates and use all the channels of the other channels. This is what we're going to learn, point by point.